Maybelle Dorothy Wheeler is the third unique character for Hamlet and the 21st character in the Don't Starve universe. I mention this because out of all the characters to enter the constant, Wheeler is one of the few who did so willingly, crashing her hot air balloon in the wilderness of Hamlet. It's actually quite lucky that I waited a few days to make this video as Wheeler's abilities have been changed significantly since she was released last week and there is still a genuine chance that they will be changed again or tweaked in some way after releasing this video, in which case I'll make sure to leave a pinned comment down below. Being the plucky explorer that she is, Willa starts with a 10% speed increase just straight off the bat, and this increases by a further 1% for each inventory slot that is empty. So at the very beginning of the game, before picking up any item, Wheeler has a massive 25% speed boost. This incentivizes you to travel as lightly as possible, which is something that I really struggle to do personally. At the moment, there are no downsides at all for carrying a full inventory and even a full backpack on top of that, and you'll still get that lovely 10% boost. She also takes with her a few interesting items into the game. The Pumatic Horn is a projectile weapon that can be loaded with many different items, and the amount of damage it does depends on that item. It can deal up to a massive 100 damage per shot, and as a general rule, it seems as though the heavier items tend to do more damage than the lighter ones. So things like rocks, coins, flint, niter, and iron ore all do the maximum damage. As for the best items to use, depending on what world you're playing in, I would look to something like Hound's Teeth, Nightmare Fuel, Stingers, Jungle tree seeds are also good, all of those do the maximum damage and can be gathered quite easily. You can fit a full stack of those items in the Pumatic Horn at any one time, and you can even use it as an additional inventory slot if you're desperate for that extra 1% speed. I personally think that this weapon is a little bit overpowered at the moment, and I would not be surprised in the slightest if it gets a hefty nerf at some point. Wheeler's other item is the Navigadget. This acts a little bit like a compass, except instead of pointing north, it points to the closest item of your choosing. So for example, if you put a piece of grass in the Navigadget, it will point you in the direction of the next closest one. Honestly, I don't see that much potential for this item. It might come in handy to find things like relics and nettles, or items that you might have misplaced but this is probably one that I'll be leaving in my house for the majority of the time. I should also mention that both of these items have unlimited uses, but cannot be crafted again, so make sure to keep them safe. Don't let Krampus steal them because you're not going to be getting another one. Wheeler's stats are fairly average with 150 health, 150 hunger and 200 sanity. Doesn't really excel in any of those areas, but isn't too weak either. One thing that I haven't yet mentioned is Wheeler's dodge ability. Using this allows her to move quickly over short distances once every few seconds, and she is completely invulnerable when doing so. This can be used very effectively for kiting pretty much anything, and is probably the most exciting thing about the character in general. You can also use it to get a bit of a speed boost because it's faster than walking. As for Wheeler's backstory, there really isn't much to tell just yet. I'm hoping that when the update comes out of the beta and when Hamlet gets released fully, we'll see maybe an animated short. One for Wagstaff would be nice too. But yeah, that's about all for Wheeler. I do just want to quickly mention, before the update that I mentioned at the start of the video, Wheeler actually started with only 10 slots in her inventory, which I thought was a really cool downside. At the moment, there doesn't really seem to be much of a downside at all for Wheeler, on top of being able to move faster than pretty much every character in the beginning of the game, she also has exclusive access to the most powerful weapon in the game and a dodge ability. <laughs> so you really can't go wrong playing as Wheeler. Although I would be wary of playing as her too much because that dodge ability would be a hard one to have to give up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it informative. Will you be giving Wheeler a shot? Is she too OP? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.